Terrestrial Habitats Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafford.com The dwelling place or the surrounding in which an organism live is called its habitat. Every habitat has biotic factors which consist of living organisms and abiotic factors which consist of non-living factors such as sunlight, air, water and temperature. The habitat of an organism living on land is terrestrial habitat. Some of the terrestrial habitats are deserts, mountains, forests and grasslands. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fortafort Android app. Download the app now. Let's talk about deserts. The abiotic factors in desert includes a lot of sunlight. The sand heats up very fast and also cool downs very fast. So there is very hot climate during day and very cold climate during night. There is very less rainfall in deserts and so water availability is very small. Even the groundwater is at higher depth. The biotic factors include different plants and animals. The plants have long roots in order to reach at groundwater. The plants have green stem capable of photosynthesis. Leaves are generally absent. If present, then they are very small or in the form of spines. It helps to reduce the loss of water through transpiration. There is a thick waxy layer on their stem which helps to preserve water in their tissues. Animals like camel have long legs which keep their body away from hot sand. They have thick fur which protect their body during cold nights. Hump on their body store food in the form of fats which provide them energy for longer time. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fortafort Android app. Download the app now. Wide feet help them to walk easily on sand. Rats and snakes stay inside the burrows present deep in the sand for protection from higher temperature. They come out when it is cooler, that is, during night. Mountain Regions Mountains are much above the sea level. With higher altitude, the temperature decreases, due to which there is a cool climate in the mountains. The air is freely flowing through these regions. There is frequent rainfall and snowfall in these regions. To adapt such environment, the plants have conical shape. The branches are sloping from the stem and the leaves are narrow like a needle, due to which the rainwater and the snow slide down easily and does not get accumulated on branches. It keeps the plant protected from excess water and snow. Animals have thick skin or have thick layer of fur on their body which protect them from cold. The mountain coat can run on rocky slopes of the mountain with its strong hooves. Forest and grasslands Sufficient rainfall maintain moisture in the soil. It is helpful for the growth of grass. There are large number of animals and plants in such habitat. Animals like lion obtain its food by hunting other animal such as deer. The animal which hunt other animal for food is called predator.
Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. While the animal that is hunted and killed by another animal for food is prey, both have adaptation for their survival. The brown color of lion helps to hide in brown grass. They have eyes at front of the face to get correct location of its prey. Sharp claws and teeth helps them to catch their prey. Male lion has mane which protect their neck. Deers on the other hand has eyes on side of their face. They have long ears to hear movements around with which they can identify the danger easily. They run at very high speed and stay protected from their predators. For eating grass, they have strong teeth. So I hope you got good knowledge about the topic. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe learnfordafford.com and press the bell icon to never miss an updates from learnfordafford.com.